Hello and welcome to this new video. It is a part of a list, so if you are new, please take a look to the previous videos because they are all connected. You will find the link on the description below. Today we will see how to make a sensor network where your ESP8266 communicates with the MQTT protocol. In the last two videos, we saw already basic concepts of MQTT and we made the two boards communicate together. So in my case, I have three sensors, a photoresistor, a humidity and a temperature sensor, each one connected to a board. You can have more sensors, of course. The sensor board will publish on the broker on three different topics. On the other side, we have a board that will get the information by being subscribed to the different topics. Here, the broker is running. And I am uh, subscribed to uh, the three topics with uh, my computer just to follow the process. And uh, this is uh, the code of the photoresistor board. It is publishing every two seconds. And this is the code of the humidity and temperature sensor. Every, ter every 10 seconds I will publish a new value. And the type of these values are float. Now this is the board that will get the information. The first step is to subscribe to each of the topics. We have three. Every time there is a change on the data uh, on the broker, this board will be notified through the callback function. So here I will show the new value and the topic. I added the delay to not overcharge the broker with the requests. Let's test the code. As you can see, it is working and it's called now in Tunisia. In case you want to handle the topic variable, the best option for beginner is to create a new string variable and assign it. It is challenging to work with the topic uh, because it is a pointer to a chart. Once you did this, you can use easily your if statement. So here I want to test my if statement.
Don't forget to add an empty value to the uh, top variable to clear it in the end. Now we are ready to test. As you can see, my if statement is working perfectly. So we will use the if statement now to save every incoming data into a separate uh, value. For that, you need to declare three variables in the main program. They will be filled inside the if statement. Now, in the main loop, I will try to show my variables on the serial uh, monitor and see if uh, they are changing. In the beginning, the variables are empty, but once uh, we start to get new values, they are filled.
Here I'm changing the value of the photoresistor and you can see that it is changing as well in the main loop. Once you succeed to do this, uh, you have a lot of possibility to handle the data inside and outside the callback function. I hope that you liked the video and see you soon. Bye.